Hi Divas! Today I have a sneak peek for you. Today I will be filled with joy. This is, I believe, the third. Um, this is the next one in the Butterfly series. And I had the other two and I was so thrilled when Diamond Art Club said they would send me this one. So I can't wait to show it to you. All right, this is a square Diamond Art Club kit. It is, let's see, 49.6 by 62.8 centimeters, which is 19 and a half inches by 24.7 inches. Okay, by Jennifer Lambin. Can't wait to show it to you. Here it is. As you know, the kits come wrapped in plastic for their protection, and you will see all the information you need on the outside of the box, including a QR code for 10% off of your next purchase, but if you'd like 15% off of your very first purchase from Diamond Art Club, see the description box below. Also, everything you need on how to create your kit. You find the kit, you will find a tool kit, and a little sticker. This little sticker is a miniature of what you will see in the kit and it's got all the information on it. This sticker you can use on the bottom of the box to identify what's in it or you can use it on a notebook. You can make it into a cover minder. Lots of things you can do with the little sticker. Also you get the tool kit which is everything you would need to create your masterpiece. Okay, let's see. You get a tray for your diamonds with a little uh, stopper for the funnel, which I love. They have nice high sides and nice high ridges. You get a random colored pen and a matching squishy with the copper tip on it. And you get two multi-placers, four and a seven multi-placer. You get a heart with two hearts of wax in it. You get a bag of baggies to help you kit up or kit down. Get in there. You get a Diamond Art Club tweezers. A pointy tweezers with every square painting and you get two extras this one is a little macaroon this one is a cover minder which means when you peel back the plastic you put the the oh I've got an extra magnet on it that's interesting um, you put the magnet underneath you peel the plastic back and what happened to the, there it is. You peel the plastic back and you snap the cover minder over the top to hold the plastic back while you're working. Also, you get some washi tape and washi tape is helpful in at least three ways. You get a random washi tape as well. They're help, it's helpful in keeping the dust off of the edges where the glue like overruns the picture by a little bit. It For squares, it helps them line up real well on the sides and when you put it right on the corner. And it also helps in dividing off the plastic if you want to do just a section at a time. Okay, that is your standard kit. The canvas comes in its own protective plastic bag and it's got a low lint um, a low lint canvas and it's got a pinked and poked edge I like to call it that prevents fraying on the edge on the bottom of your canvas you will see you will see the thumbnail and all the pertinent information in the center you will see the social media information 
and another way you can get 10% off of your next um, your next canvas and your warranty in case of not enough drills. All right, so this is the beautiful butterfly. I'm move this off for a second and roll it the opposite way so you can see what we're doing here. Because it is a poured glue canvas, you can roll it the opposite way. Um, but Diamond Art Club canvases relax very easily and very quickly. Today I will be filled with joy. Due to my camera angle at the moment, I can't get the whole thing in at once, but I'm working on that. <laughs> I'm working on that. Oh, she's beautiful. She is absolutely beautiful. She is 52 colors. And she will have, ooh, three different kinds of specials. We have one, two, three Aurora Borealis, which is the sparkly drills. We have two fairy dust and one metallic. And another one, and an E, huh? Four different kinds. Ooh, oh, I love that. Here we go. Here we go. Isn't she beautiful? Now the colors are different from the first two. Slightly different. I love this series. I love the butterflies. I really love the butterflies. Let's see what else we get. You get your thank you with all the information, instructions, other QR codes in it for the VIP group and for the app for special discounts on those. You get a big sticker for your notebook that is a full sticker on this side and tiny little stickers on this side. And these stickers pull off individually and they have the sequence number the code and the DMC color code number on them. You can put these on the containers that you kit up in, which means how you get ready to diamond paint. Oh, I can't wait to see these drills. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I like how, if you notice, inside the, the pink, there looks to be a little bit of writing. One says seeds. It's almost like it, it was um, like collage and they were papers that were used and there was writing on the paper. See that? See the words in there? That's going to be fun. I see in here that you do see some semblance of words. I can see the word seed in here. Ooh, and this one says flower, part of the word flower. That's really cool. There's a word in the orange too, and I can't make that out. I believe these came from collage images. That's really fun, since I collage too. <laughs> really, really fun. Okay, all right, now I want to show you the drills. They come all in a pack. They come labeled with the title of the kit and the DMC inventory number. I will cut them apart and show you the drills. Okay, so here are the drills. I'm trying to show you the number of the, the DMC color number as well. Beautiful, beautiful colors. This one does remind me of joy. Today I will be filled with joy says. Look at all the yummy colors. What excites me about kits are the colors. I love working. Look at that fuchsia orange. At that fluorescent orange, I should say. Oh my gosh. Bright, bright colors. 
and all these scrumptious going together. Ah, oh, I absolutely love them. The oranges, the purples, the reds, the greens, the blues. Even the grays and blacks, and you need the grays, you need the blacks, you need the whites, the plains, in order to set off the beauty of the other colors. You can't have a kit without some basics in it, because then they'd all kind of muddy together. You need the definition in it. You need the definition. And Diamond Art Club does not um, fill their little bags numerical order. They fill them from the most to the least amount. So you will find the bags that are the fullest to those that are filled with just a little. You know right away what the background colors are because they'll be the fuller bags. Okay. <coughs> That's those. Now I want to show you the special diamonds. We'll start with the super sparkly Aurora Borealis. We have three colors of those, and you'll notice the Aurora Borealis as they sparkle and shine, they reflect a variety of colors back to you. Okay. They are super sparkly, super shiny. All right. And the next one are called fairy dust diamonds. Now the difference in the fairy dust diamonds <clears throat> are that they have what you would call, what we used to call diamond dust. It's a special shine, a special sparkle that does not reflect any extra colors. It's not prismatic. Uh, it does shine quite a bit more than regular diamonds. They have teeny tiny little pieces instead of a full coating over the top of it. They have teeny tiny little pieces of shine on them. Okay. Another kind, I noticed this in the other butterfly kit, it has almost like an oil slick diamond. These are three tens, but they are used for the words, and there's a special, I, I don't know, it's, and I don't know what to call the coating. Uh, it's so, it looks wet. And it's not. Um, it's such a pure color. I don't know. I'll have to find out what they call this color. But uh, it's got it's got a special, not a slickness to it. It doesn't feel any different when you put them on the the canvas. It just looks richer for some reason. But it doesn't have any of the um, prismatic effect on it at all or I don't know I don't know but I just want to say that you don't have to be afraid of diamond art club squares when you get the budget kits they you know don't fit and they warp and and they really you can't fit them in and they start popping like crazy but diamond art club has their own factory and they make their own drills the resin drills and instead of acrylic and they line up like little soldiers they really they fit perfectly they really do now there's one other kind of special diamond and it is a gold metallic these are super gold they are so beautiful and we'll find out where to put all of these in the kit where they go on the canvas in just a second Okay, I'm going to bring it out as far as I can, and I do want to show you again that the black, the the E310s are all in the um, 
in the writing that today I will be filled with joy. Okay, so I wanted to be sure that you saw that. Next, I'm going to show you where the fairy dust diamonds go. All right. The green, the, uh, let's see, the green fairy dust is the letter P. And I see those in, let's see, there's a few in and around the, the word joy. Just a few in the green, right in the round, right around the word joy. And next to the V's here. So there's some up around the side. There's a bunch within within the green of the butterfly wing here. Up in here. And right around the, the other color, the other green color in here. Up in there a little bit. Okay, so they're around the butterfly as well as in it. And then the letter C. The blue fairy dust, that would be around the word filled here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me see. Apologize for some of the traffic running around outside. It's a Saturday, so it's, I mean a Friday, because it's so it's going to be uh, crazy traffic. Okay, so I have down around the side of the butterfly. I have some over here on this side of the butterfly. I haven't found any within the butterfly, but I have a lot in the bluish clouds that come down the side here, and some in the pattern at the bottom. It's almost like a, a zigzaggy pattern across the bottom. Okay, I see it there. So those, that's where the shiny fairy dusts are going to be. Now let's find the Aurora Borealis. And let's see. The 141 white is the white dot. And you will find those around the little flowers at the end of the joy here. You will find them in dotted, dotted areas, almost like coming off of the butterfly. You will see it in the bottom of the butterfly and in the wing here. In this side side wing over here. You will see it in the bottom of the butterfly over here. In this wing over here. In the top of the wing. In these places over here, in these spots. And you will see it in the flowers at the very top and around the word today here. Kind of like little waves coming off of there and at the top of the butterfly wing over here, right outside of it. Okay. That's where the white Aurora Borealis goes. Let's find out where the pink goes. Okay, this will be the number one. I see it in the top the pink of the wing here. I see it in around the pink of this wing in here. Oh, uh, it's all over the pink in this part of the wing here. The pink in this part of the wing here and the pink in this part of the wing here. Okay, that's where the pinks go. Oh, I do see a little bit in the flower at the bottom. All right, that's where the pinks go. Now the purple Aurora Borealis will be the number two. So we're looking for the number two. All right. Yes, I see some in the purple in the bottom of the wing here. I see it in the purple over on this wing, part of the wing. I see it up in here, up in this part of the wing here. 
And up in here, way up in here. Wait a minute, let me go. Bring it down here. Yes, here. And also in the purple around the flower. The purple flowers over in this side of the wing. So that's where they go. Now I know you want to know where these metallics go. All right, these gold metallics, they are... There's a few in here, but not many of them. A few in here. The top of the butterfly. Over on this end. A little bit pieces over here. A few in here. Right in the top of the butterfly um, abdomen here. A few scattered in the wing area, right in here. Some right in the edge here, down the edge of the butterfly that I mentioned in the middle here. And there are a few pieces at the bottom, <clears throat> the bottom of the wing. Um, I don't see any down here though, but I do see some in the joy flower over here and right in here. Interesting. Interesting. All right. These are more scattered. These gold are more scattered than I saw in the other paintings. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I love these. I, I'm all three of them. I have three of them. I really, really love them. The whole series. Well, when I get done with them, you'll see all three of them. <laughs> all three of the series all together. Let me know down below if you are going to be purchasing this one. This is the sneak peek that will be available on tomorrow, on Saturday, um, at noon, Eastern Standard Time, for Diamond and Ruby members, and it will be 12.30 Eastern Standard Time for a uh, general release. They do usually save a few back so that everybody has a chance for them, that the Diamond and Ruby members can't gobble them all up before you get to them. I'm looking forward to Black Friday. They have special sales on Black Friday, special discounts, and lots more kits than eight, <laughs> usually. So um, we shall see what they come up with this year. And I look forward to Advent, too, because I have a number of Advent kits to open up with you every single day during the month of December. So I'm really looking forward to that. I have a uh, sale of budget paintings coming up uh, next weekend on Saturday. If you are around in my live chat, I will have budget paintings for sale. So, and that would be 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, if you are around for that. And let me see. Join us every Tuesday for Tuesday Night Live, where we talk and chat about all things diamond painting and crafty, um, junk journaling, cross-stitch, and we just have a good time with our friends with uh, Tea and Talk Tuesday Nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope to see you there. Bye, divas. Thank you.